Welcome to this session on room properties. In this video, we'll just take a quick look at some of the properties on the rooms that we added to the model. So I'm gonna come up here to the front lobby room. Again, I can right click and select properties. Note when I select the room in the property tree that it highlights in the model. So here we have a dialogue which has all the properties of this front lobby. So we can see the name here. We could change it. We could also give this room a description. And we see the room type, Sibsy reception. We have some dimensional information. And then we have some design data for the steady state calculations. Go ahead and expand some of this. And this has all been added to the room properties on creation based on that room type that was selected when we placed it. And that information is available in the room types manager, another one of the data managers. And of course it could be changed after placement. We'll take a look at some of that in later videos. So this gives us here, for instance, the thermal design conditions for this particular room some thermal properties, airflow, some miscellaneous properties. For instance, we could have shading devices on the exterior. And then some mapping to other standards such as part L. So we'll go ahead and apply the changes we made and select OK. Now in our project tree, we can see that in addition to the room, we have surfaces on that room. I'm going to go ahead and expand those surfaces. And you can see we've got a floor and a, at this point, a roof because we have no rooms above it. Once we have a room above it, that would actually become the floor above. And then we have exposed walls. Again, note if I select any surface, it highlights in the model. And in addition, we have partitions, which would be any interior surface. I'm going to go ahead and again, right click on one of the exposed walls and select the properties. And here we have the properties of the exposed wall. Again, here is the construction that we selected earlier, the brick, 105 millimeters. And again, it could be changed at any point, but that was the default that we put on it. Gives us dimensional information on that surface. And then in addition, there's some construction details, again, all based on the construction that was selected when the room was placed. So we're not gonna make any changes here, and we're just going to select OK. In the next session, we'll actually add additional surfaces to the exposed surfaces. So for instance, putting a window or a door into the exterior surface. And this is what we would call an embedded surface. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.